Hi, everybody. Hey, everyone. Happy Sunday Drive. Happy Sunday Drive. Today, mm-hmm. it's very exciting. Mm-hmm. Well, first of all, we started again because mm-hmm. I hated how it started. So I'm going to start the way I was going to start. Okay. Today, we're looking for Christmas. No. <laughs> now, listen, you've been watching Hallmark Christmas movies for how many weeks now? Oh, it's not been that long. It's, it's and been I don't watch them all day. I Did you watch to... the Lindsay Lohan one yet? I have not. Okay. Ali, Alyssa and I were going to watch that yesterday. Are you really but... going to watch that? Why not? Okay, cool. Um, anyway. Why not? Uh, uh, sure. And that, I don't think um, that was Hallmark anyway, but go ahead. Like, but I wonder... <laughs> Terrible joke incoming. You ready? Yes. Like Lindsay Lohan, if she sees... If they're like putting out all the fake snow, <laughs> is she like... Stop. Oh... <laughs> Sorry, that's terrible. I'm sure she's cleaned her life up. I'm sure she's doing Honey, fine. Stop. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. Anyway, we're looking for Christmas in that there's no Christmas decorations up. <laughs> so we talked about we talked about um we just did the Halloween thing a little while ago. Obviously, Thanksgiving is coming up. Thanksgiving in my top holidays, by the way. Um, let's do a video on four way stop rules that that person doesn't get. No, that, that person doesn't get it either. You were here first. That person waved the other person on when it was my turn, but it doesn't matter. Let's continue. All right, anyway. Um, so, we're actually going to drive you through Hamlin. Hamlin. And uh, we're just actually, what we're going to show you is we think that there's not much holiday decoration up. And then we're going to compare and contrast in a couple weeks. We'll drive through again mm-hmm. to see what they've done because I have a feeling they'll do, they always do a lot of good stuff, right? They do. Yes. So, we're going to do that. and But meanwhile, mm-hmm. Amy, we have breaking news. Okay. I'm waiting for the graphic to come in. Okay. okay. Breaking news. Uh, we have several breaking news newses today. Newses? <laughs> Newsies. Amy, I, I'm just, I'm getting word from our backyard. The pool is being filled. Hallelujah. The pool is being filled. Controversially, it's taken a bazillion years to get the pool filled, but now... Here we go. Also, yeah. one of my cameras is already dying. Oh, wow, that was fast. That's so weird. I don't know. I think it stopped already. Okay. It doesn't make any sense. Okay. Ugh, that's very frustrating. I'm Let's sorry. Recording. I'm sorry. Babe. Anyway, um, so the pool is being filled. Yes. Like um, with water. With water. Yeah. <laughs> with ice cream because for Christmas we were going to do it with snowballs and marshmallows. Wow. We've had a lot of a lot of activity the past couple of days with the pool, um, which. The storm kind of threw a wrench into what we yes. thought the timeline was going to be, but thankfully it only delayed it a day because they were there first thing Friday morning, but right and early. Oh, right now. And uh, they were there for quite a while getting all the things done that they needed to, and then today uh, the gentleman just left having yeah. acid washed the pool yes. and has the hose filling it. So this week, we got coffee time coming up Monday at 9 a.m. We'll talk a little more about that. Um, this week's video is going to be uh, like our second in the series of, and we're going to talk to you about the pool and building it and what it all cost. We can't give you the full tour yet. We'll, we'll, you'll obviously see a lot of the pool, but we can't give you the full tour yet because it's not done yet. They're filling the pool, but we have lots of stuff left mm-hmm. to, to be done, including the cage and lighting and but the all furniture that. comes Monday. Furniture comes Monday, so it's very exciting. we'll we'll talk to you about all of that in the in our video this week, post probably on Thursday. And then uh, Amy has committed to doing a Poolside Live on Wednesday. Just a quick little thing, which will be oh, Poolside. Please. Oh, it's oh. a turtle. That was sad. I, I guess I'll have to show. I'll show that from a distance. I don't want to show it up close, but yeah, the turtle didn't make it. So anyway, yep. um, Poolside Live Wednesday. Coffee time Monday, Poolside Live Wednesday, and then a video this week about basically the cost of building a pool and kind of our design choices and that kind of stuff. Yeah. So lots of pool action this week. Chris, not a lot of Christmas action. No, not a lot of Christmas action at all. Well, no, I mean, keep in mind. Well, ah, 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 Wait a minute. There we go. Up. Oh, my gosh. We're putting them up right now. Go, oh, I was going to say go slow, I can't. Well, yeah, in the okay. green light. We'll, we'll probably come back around. Oh. So they're putting the trees up right then. Yeah. And there's usually some trees over there by Pizza Press. Mm-hmm. Um, Those hand trees. Amy, with- breaking news. Go straight, but go slowly if you can. Okay. To our right, Amy, <gasps> what is this structure? Right to our right. New Taco Bell! It's a Christmas Taco Bell! Oh, no, it's not Christmas. No, it won't be done by Christmas. (laughs) No, I'm just saying they're going to only serve Christmas tacos. Yeah. I I don't know. I got Uh, No, we're excited. You know, just, it's, Hamlin is... Let's go in there and see if they can take Sure. Uh, Hamlin has... It has a... Well, we keep waiting for more things. Uh, there's, yeah. there's no real retail type stuff there. Not right. really. 
Um, it's it's really more about restaurants and kind of your main services like your grocery store. You're right about Walmart. retail. There's just not. There's not. It's Walmart. No. That's it. Um, and so that's what we're just coming in here just to take a loop, you loop. This is Enclave at Hamlin. We're this is where high. Santa lives and there's <laughs> off time. Mm-hmm. And now you lost the other one. I did. Oh my gosh. That's unbelievable. unbelievable. So we're not going to have any side cameras. So which you just have to look at us. So sorry. It renders the whole video kind of moot. Sorry. Um, um, so dumb. I charged the cameras forever. No, and they and said they, they were charged. Yeah. I'm going to try to turn this one back on. Okay. We'll see what happens. Um, anyway, so um, so we've been kind of, you know, still waiting. We love it when these things come new. Like, for instance, we talked about the Mark and uh, Huey Magoo's came in there. Yep. There's obviously a new Starbucks in there. There's some... Some other fun little spots in there. There's um, Piccolino's, the little haircutting place, yep. right? Is that the name? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and there's going to be the the little brewery place and then right. the new Walgreens. So there's stuff coming there. Um, but now we have yet another, um, you know, a Taco Bell, another fast food. Not that, not that well, we do kind of but live on I fast have food. Breaking I was going to say not that we live on fast breaking food. Breaking news, Amy. Breaking news. Both cameras died. Okay. They're both fully charged and then they both died. I'm you know very, what? very frustrated. You just, you you're to, just so powerful. You suck out all the energy of it. I guess. I'm going to put my phone up on the side of the of the thing if we see anything, wow. and then I'll okay. put it over there. I'm so frustrated right now. Okay. Breaking fine. news. I'm frustrated. Okay. Also, no Christmas things. No, so, nothing, our nothing friend yet. Christopher, who is the HOA president in this neighborhood, mm-hmm. get to it. Get to it. Do you want me to what go is, out, take a right, and then loop you around? Uh, sure. What is going on? There's, no, there's nothing. Well, it's mid-November. It, no. People decorate for Halloween on September first. No, yes, they do. Well, I mean, let's 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 be real, okay? So we did have Halloween right after Halloween. We did have people taking down their Halloween decorations. Now, and in, in our community specifically, there's a big Halloween decorating contest. Yes. So they want to keep the decorations up for a few days after Halloween, just so that everybody can kind of see them or whatever. So, but then we had the storm coming, so that people weren't going to start putting up decorations. Yep. Um, I put know, my camera up here. That, that's, you're driving like a wild person around this corner, so I don't I have the momentum to. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. So you're gonna you eat it. Yeah. You eat it. Anyway, um, so when I mean, you pull in here. Just go slow for one second. So yeah. I'm gonna put some tape on my camera. And you want me to stop here for a second? Yeah. If, if okay, you can, I'm just stop here. Pull just up listen to me. Don't pay attention to him. Okay, anyway, yeah, it's fine. so um, so I mean, full it's credit. I think that a lot of people um took down their Halloween decorations and then, you know, we kind of had the storm, so it really wasn't any point putting anything out. And so now, um, we're probably getting to it. I bet this weekend things are going up as we saw down there at the Hamlin big intersection Hamlin. there. Can I, can I go? Yes. Okay. Um, and so that's good. Um, now that being said, I will tell you, I was out at Winter Garden Village yesterday um, and you know, they are starting. So the big shopping centers are going to, those decorations yes. are going to start coming out. And so hopefully when we, when we revisit they need this, to get to it. this route in two weeks, I know. So that was my dad's favorite thing was the, uh, was the Christmas lights. And he loved to see the Christmas lights in people's windows, but he was always drawn to the colored ones. Yes, go ahead. I'm getting breaking news, I knew Amy. You were, I could tell. We're putting the three up today. I know. <laughs> but, but, but to give them the, the cl- inside scoop. Clarification. Like full transparency. <laughs> We're putting up the big 12 foot tree. Yes. Um, that we just bought last year because. That's right, because we got a big 12 foot tree. Yeah. Well, it's because it's a giant, that particular. Because I'm a giant big. person. I'm a big man. I'm a big, big man. Who's this can't is keep exhausting. Up. I don't care. Okay. I'm excited. So it's a 12. 12- I'm, I'm a little giddy right now, but it- I can't keep my phone on the thing. All right. Because you're driving like a wild person. Can I talk? Yeah. Okay. Please. So the 12 foot tree. So the 12 foot tree, um, we just purchased last year, which by the way, if you all recall, we had just closed on our home Thanksgiving of last year. So when we moved in, it was basically a mad rush to kind of not just decorate for Christmas, but to move into the house. So we didn't really get everything done fully the way hopefully it will be done. I'm so irritated right now. I'm like, I'm seriously, I'm about to scream and just say, let's cancel the whole thing. This is, this is my angry side. This is making me so mad. Those stupid cameras, I charged them forever. I charged them forever. And they they said they were 100%. Now my now the whole thing is going away. This is annoying. You just talk. I'm going to sit here and just stew. <laughs> okay, honey. It's not funny. I know. I'm trying to deliver good video to the people. <laughs> Listen to you laughing. You're cackling like a harpy. <laughs> Look at this. My pain. <laughs> We've been married for 30 years. And Stop. so you know that I'm in actual, like, like, like psychic pain right now. And you don't care. What is that? And there's like a smudgy thing there. 
my god! Like I'm about to cry, and you're like, ha ha ha! What a loser! <laughs> Marriage. Breaking news. Interest rates are down. Interest rates. Let's are just down. move on. Let's move on. All right, interest rates are down. Yeah, oh. GoPro stock is down because their batteries suck. Okay, you think the phone's gonna fall? No, it's not. Okay, it's good. Fine. All right, got it. Anyway, all right. So anyway, anyway interest, interest rates are down. Interest rates are down. So that's fantastic. That's big. Yes, it is big. Um, more decorations. Oh, more Which decorations. They, they can see it from my yeah, phone. Yeah, okay. although it's probably tilted up a little bit. So. Okay, I'm sure they saw it, honey. I'm, I'm sure, sure it's absolutely You can pull perfect. in there and just kind of right, see if there's around. any more decorations happening. Okay, I'll see if there's any more decorations happening. And then we'll just go over the the quick the quick news about other things going on in our personal life. At Tijuana Flats, by the way, we talked about some yeah, yeah. of the restaurants out here now. So Tijuana Toastique. Flats, Toastie. We have not been to Toastie yet. yet. What a great name! Though. It is. I love it. Like Except, I'm already excited. It sounds good to me already. Yeah, but I, like I don't know. Is it like too? Is it too fancy? Too fall, fall, fall. Toastique? Uh, toast. And, but then you put a little, like, like yeah, I know, but toastique. It's like, I don't know. Waffle. <sighs> le bleu. <I> know. <laughs> like, it's like, what, I don't, I don't, it's, is it too fancy? That's all I'm saying. I, 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 I'm I sure we'll try not. it out. I'm yeah, sure. Very nice. Miller's Ale House is open in front of yeah? us. Yes, yes, yes. Which you can see because that camera works. Okay. okay. Breaking news, interest rates are down. That's what we wanted to share with you. But also, let's give you, let's just go through a couple of the, and then no Christmas decorations, so we'll take you through this um, next time. I'll have to use my phone again so it'll match. Oh. Um, French Cafe. French Cafe, so one good. of my favorites. P.F. Chang's to go. Planet Smoothie. Um, but let me just give you the, give me four, give me four topics of things that are, that are coming up. Okay. Um, it's Veterans Day weekend. <laughs> so your father served. Um, in the army for a bit. Mm-hmm. My father served in the Air Force mm-hmm. um, for 20 years, and that's why we met because we moved to where you were because when I was younger because my dad was in the Air Force. Mm-hmm. Um, so thank you to our veterans. Uh, thank you to our son-in-law Steele, mm-hmm. who is currently serving. Yes, he's such a good guy. He's I like a him guy. a lot. Love um, him. Yeah, we do love him a lot. Okay, anyway, Forrest, our eldest son. Yes. <laughs> I literally almost said has won the New York City Marathon. <laughs> No. No. What happened? What's the news? He qualified. He, he ran did. a race today in Richmond, Virginia, and the time qualified him for the New York Marathon. So yep. we are going to uh, enjoy that. There's a crazy year. car in front of us. Uh, yeah. Um, Publix, no things on the stoplights oh, yet. On the on the not the stoplights, the thing. That is a crazy car. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Breaking news. Crazy car. It's a motorcycle with a back car thing. Mm-hmm. I don't know that I've seen that before. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. So that's forest thing. Mm-hmm. Um, it's we did Veterans Day. Mm-hmm. Um, the two other things to talk about are that um, I have I have decided what I want for my Christmas gift, okay. which I want to share with everyone. Ooh, okay. And then also I want you to talk about your client situation. That that uh, mm-hmm. it's yes. a good example of sure, sure. the we'll opportunity follow, yeah. for service recovery. Exactly. Um, exactly. So um, first, my Christmas gift. Okay. Um, are you are you excited to know? Because like I you have the opportunity to. Because I always say I don't want anything, okay? But I have chosen something I want, okay. and I need everyone to understand that I'm completely serious. No, don't say oh no. I'm scared. This is seriously what I want. Okay, tell me. The pool is being filled up, right? Yeah. I'm a little self conscious about a few things about myself, okay. right? I'm getting like my my sciatica has been bad. When we first started doing Sunday drives this year, like, we've been doing Sunday drives for a couple of years now, but. This year's Sunday drives, I was like, my, my butt hurts. Remember that? Yeah. That's sciatica. It still exists. But I'm, it's a little better to the point I'm getting on the Peloton. I'm, trying, I'm going to try to look physically better. Okay. But do you know one of the things that I'm most concerned about? She's so nervous. I'm so scared She's right so now. She's so scared. I'm so scared. I don't, I don't know. Often, when shirtless, I feel like the vanilla gorilla. <laughs> and... Um, so there's I'm, there's a back hair shaver oh that I want. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> but listen, honey, honey, honey. I, it's like a big like. Honey, stop, right? stop. No, I totally want that. Oh Will you get that for me? I'll buy it myself, I guess. Okay. Um. Anyway, so you could go down there and go to, go toward the mark, I guess. That's right. Um. Cause we'll, we'll 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 probably be done by then. But that's what I want. See, now okay. you want me. Okay. One Christmas. Every gift I got was like stress relief, anger management. No, it was sm- not. You smell no, bad. No, it. <laughs> it was. No, it wasn't. It was a men's gift set <laughs> from Bath and Body Works. For angry men. 
I still remember that. Now this time I'm telling you, I understand I'm disgusting. Okay. So there's something to mitigate Seriously? the disgustingness. Yes. The point of these Sunday drives has really gone off course. We get we told people interest rates are down. <laughs> well, let's get back to real estate then. Okay. Tell tell All us right. about the, so, that's what I want. So here's an example, and this is the preliminary situation, and we're going to follow up with you once uh, we discuss with the builders. So, yes. Here's what happened. Um, purely accidental. I have some clients building a new construction home. Um, beautiful home, great community, great builder. Many clients have built beautiful yes. homes with that builder. Fantastic. Everything is great. We've received a closing date. The closing, I'm glad you said that first. That's we have I'm received yep. the closing date from title and from the builder saying, okay, home is supposed to be finished. Here's the date that you're going to be closing yes. on your new home, which is scheduled for um, soonish. Yes. Okay. Now, the soonish of November. The soonish of November. Soonish of November. Yes. Now, unfortunately, a situation happened at the home, purely accidental. No one really did anything intentionally, but there was a water issue. One of the trades used or hooked up the outside hose bib to get water. Somehow, something from the upstairs portion of the home was not completed or hooked up or yep. attached or ready. And unfortunately, the home flooded. I bet I know what happened. Yeah. So, the home now has some damage that the builder has already noticed. They've already um, they've had remediation kind of come in, and they've dried things up. There's some drywall that needs to be replaced. There's some kitchen cabinets that need to be replaced. There's baseboards that need to be replaced. All of which the builder has already noted that they obviously will be taken right. care of. And the builder's However, very upset. The, oh, yes, they are. And that's that's honestly... Yeah, they're not like too bad, so sad. No, 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 no. They're, they're like, oh my gosh. I mean, it's devastating. And I will tell you, one of the reasons I like that builder so much is because it, not only the, the physical builder, you know, but the builder as a company and then the site agents. And I sent that in the email today. Um, I really do feel like they have a lot of true connection and, and love and care and concern Yep. for every home that they build because yes. they do think about it as a shelter for a family and yes. not just a structure that they're selling. Yes. Anyway, so all of that, um, the delay in closing obviously is going to incur some inconvenience, of course, for my clients, but also some financial expenses that they weren't necessarily planning on doing. You know, they have to reschedule the painter. They have to yep. reschedule uh, some the appliances delivery, the moving expenses. You know, things that it's were all lot. were already put into motion because be they got a closing because date. they were given the yep. closing date. If they had not been given a closing date, the builder theoretically could say, "Hey, look, we just have to push it back the end." Yeah. Um, but instead, they were given a closing date, and this is definitely you know messing things up a little bit. Anyway, so my point is, there's three things that we talk to. Or that I, on behalf of my clients, I spoke with them this morning and thought that this would be a good way for the builder to assist. Because the buyers, by the way, have already made arrangements at their yes. own expense, at their own inconvenience based on this. But as going through the logistics, certainly I don't think that my client should have to incur a tremendous amount of issues when this right. was, you know, not their fault, right. nothing of their own doing. So we asked the builder for three things. We asked them... Number one, um, there's a rate lock issue. Uh, my clients have already spent over $6,000 to extend the rate lock twice. Yep. So we're asking for a little bit of help on that if they have to extend it again just for a couple of weeks. Yes. That's reasonable. number one. Re exactly. Reasonable. Number two, we asked for now my clients. Again, they have already, by the way, Thanksgiving. It's a holiday. They were supposed to have closed around that time. So now they are actually going to be spending Thanksgiving with some friends. They've already made on their own arrangements for them to find places to stay for a couple of weeks, yep. uh, ping-ponging from friends and family. Yep. Um, and your clients, by the way, handling this so, so well. well. They, so well. They are well. so nice yeah. and so, so, so sweet. Um, which, by the way, it's so much nicer to accommodate, not from my perspective, but like from a builder's perspective, when you do have people that are understanding about yep. things like this. Anyway, yep. so they have already on their own made some arrangements to stay somewhere. However, there will be about 10 days that they will be displaced. They won't have, they're going to have to get a hotel somewhere, but they really don't want to stay in a hotel room for 10 days. So they'd like, like a little suite, like a little kitchenette type yeah. thing to again, save expenses of having to eat out all the right. time. So we've asked the builder for some assistance with that. And then the third thing that we've requested is that um, I encourage my clients to have 
<clears throat> for their own peace of mind to have an outside third party inspection once the builder has fixed all of the issues so that they can have basically a clean bill of health from a neutral third party, yep. uh, you know, person just saying, Hey, you know what? There is no moisture now behind the walls. We didn't come up with anything just to give them that extra little bit. So we've requested that from the builder. Yep. Um, and we'll let you know how, because by the way, like I said, they've already said, you know, we're, we're going to help you out. We're going to take care of this. We're yeah. going to fix this. So we just have to now in, in terms, we have to say, okay, well, this is actually what we're asking. And yeah. I think everything we ask for totally is not out of the realm of possibility. It's very reasonable and it's fair. Shout out to you because the inspection thing for me is the, is, is yeah. one of the most important things. Yes. And, and we talk all the time about what, what is your job? <laughs> what is your job? What is my job? Your job is this. When it comes to, well, really on any side of the transaction, but particularly with a buyer agent, a good realtor's job is to create peace of mind for their client, right? Mm -hmm. And that, so you have your phone call today. You can pull in there if you I want. I know, I was going to pull in. Um, um, it, um, your job is to create peace of mind. And so your first reaction was, let's get on the phone with them and talk through it. And you will be their agent and reach out to the builder for them so they don't have to feel like right. the bad guy. Mm -hmm. Everything they want is very reasonable, by the way. Yeah, absolutely. A hundred percent. And so... And I, and I honestly think the builder would also agree. But here's the thing. Now, this is not a promise to do this for anyone anytime, but I'm just on a share. You told them if the builder won't pay for an inspection, you'll pay for it. Yes. Um, be, and, and, and we had a talk, we had a conversation about that after you told them that. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because I knew it before you said it. Yeah. And for me, it was like, well, because that's your job. By the way, New York City Beer Project, New York Beer Project, it's is, looks like it's getting along, ready. Oh, man. That looks there's like lights. quite a space. There's, oh, no, it's not. Is that power in there? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, might be. Yeah. No, it looks no, like that it. window was a reflection. I think this, yeah, I think this that's window power. was lights. Yeah. It's like yeah. chandeliers in there. Yeah, they're getting. Wow. No, they're definitely chandeliers. Wow. So that's some chairs stacked Ooh, up. Oh, nice. Let's get into it. All right. Um, anyway, mm -hmm. um, so, so for me, th 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 this was a good example of that your job is to create peace of mind for your client. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll, we'll let you know how that turns out. And we're not telling you what builder it is, but we probably will tell you whether it's good outcome or bad outcome. <clears throat> we just, we, we don't want to like use yeah. a video to like no. be like, and you will do the right thing. But I think they will because right. they're, they're good. And, and you're not asking for anything unreasonable. No, I'm not. And one, one more thing, just because this is the way I work, just FYI, there are people that would expect a very aggressive letter yes. with a lot of emotion back behind it yeah. and threats, things like that, right. right? You know, just very, very aggressive. Yes. And that's not my style. And I will That's not you, your step one. No, 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 no. I mean, well, obviously, it's, step two or it's step kind three. Of, it's kind of like mommy voice, you know, yeah. you ask nicely. Yes. But here's the reality. I absolutely know with every ounce of my being that this is something that the builder yes. is going to take care of. And I have no concern, Hundred percent. but it is still important though that, you know, yep. that the builder assist in whatever way they can. Okay. Well, we can wrap this up, but yep, I, yep. but I want to give you one more, one more thing though, because now combine this with another client, um, our, our good partner and friend, Yanil working with us with another client, mm -hmm. a builder reached out to them and huh? said, Hey, the house is not going to be finished. We would like to send you a an offer to close on the home before it's finished, and and, and sign a hold harmless and sign a hold harmless. Okay, and yeah, no. now this all happened before this other. It was the same time frame, but before we knew about the other the damage to the other one. And what was your advice to that client? Don't sign it. Don't do that. <laughs> do not take possession of a house that they don't have a certificate of occupancy I'm, for. No, mm -mm. Um, because yeah. Imagine if this was the same client. Oh, you right, sign a hold right, right. harmless mm -hmm. and then you close on the house. That's your house now. Now all of that damage is your damage. Now, you, now the builder probably would still fix it, but they're probably not going to fix it on your timeline. They're probably not going to fix it with deliberate speed, as we like to say. Right. And they could say, too bad, so sad. It's, yeah, it, it's... Because you signed a hold harmless, you should, meaning yes, you, we're not going to hold you accountable yeah, for anything. No, thank you. Woo. And by the way, that certificate of occupancy is the county saying right. that that home is ready for you to live in. 
Yeah. If you do not have a certificate from the county saying that your home is not ready or safe for you to live in, <sighs> you don't sign and close on it. You just don't. Yeah. Um, and in this particular case, this is not a builder that I have complete confidence in. Right. And, and that my, also went to my, my, you know, decision and, and advice, which when we, is, you And know, when no. we talked about that, and they took that advice, by the way, yes, and course. said they're not going to do that. Now, my thing was, oh, Lakeshore, coming with the Christmas oh, decorations. Oh, there you go. Good job, Lakeshore. Good job, Lakeshore. Um, that's a good place to wrap it up. But, okay. um, we'll, so we'll do this drive again in a few weeks and, and show you how things have Christmased up. Yes. Again, it's hard to think about Christmas. It's 82 degrees and beautiful outside. Um, it's like in negative numbers up north, though, by the way. So if you want to move to Florida, give Amy a call. Um, mm-hmm. But my, my thing with the thing was, if, if they made you an offer that was a lot of money, <laughs> then it might be worth it. But the, in, the, in, the, in the comparison of what happened with the water flooding, yeah. gracious sakes. Yeah. So... No. Um, yeah, it just, it's, it's not, it's not wise to do that. I mean, it's, in fact, I have to tell you, I can, I, I do not know of another builder that would ever do that, by the way. I haven't ever, it, it's always been, when we, when that's happened, it's been that yeah. builder, which is part of the reason why yeah. we don't, um, that's not generally a builder that we recommend. You don't see home tours. We don't name the builder, but yeah. you don't see home tours from on, on your channel, um, because you know, when we say to a client, go look at this home or, you know, work with this builder, you know, we don't steer anybody toward a builder. We don't steer them away from anybody, but we certainly aren't going to recommend someone. We don't disrecommend them, right. but we don't right. like, because, because many years of bad experiences, including this, that one. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm done. It's just another example that goes on my list when I talk to yes. clients. So. I gotta and think, anyway. I'm just going to sit here and think of another Okay, so buy me some new GoPros for Christmas, since you're not going to get me my back shaver. My manscaper. Please. Oh, <laughs> really? Oh, okay, well, that's always the case. But, <laughs> when you think about me, that was sincere, by the way. I will I'm, get I'm, you a like, back the, shaver. Can the, we not talk about it now? The point of this video is, God. I'm hurt now. None of my cameras aren't working. My wife okay. doesn't love me. But it's guess just what? what? I can brighten up. Ready? Yeah. The pool's being filled right pool's now. pool's being filled right now. However, you also, I said my wife doesn't love me and you just moved right past it. Oh, I do. Of course I love you. <laughs> I didn't say a word. Okay. Love you. Bye. Tell them you love them and let's get out of here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lord have mercy. All right, guys. Please stay safe. Stay well. Remember, we love you. Happy house hunting. <laughs>